Austin, Texas, home to technological and cultural advances, but for everything going on in this city, the hub is bathed in burnt orange, and it is DKR and the Texas Longhorns. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the Mississippi State Bulldogs taking on the number one team in the land, the Texas Longhorns. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Mississippi State ready to kick off to get this game started. On the move from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. So the Texas Longhorns offense takes the field to start this game off. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. He holds it in, and nobody's close. Touchdown, Texas! Reeled it in and just made the house call. They're bellowing out Texas fight right now as the horns are ready after that touchdown drive. And what a great way to start. Get the crowd jacked up. When you do something good like this early, that burnt orange is going absolutely bananas in the stands. And the rest of the game, the defense, the special team, everybody feeds off their great energy. On to attempt the try. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Oh, no guts, no glory. He's coming out of the end zone. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Mississippi State Bulldogs offense will go to work for the first time. When you have a weapon like this on the outside, and a guy in the secondary whose job is to take everything away, it's going to be a great matchup, guys. It's so fun to see how you attack great safeties in the middle of the field. Are you willing to do that, or are you going to try to live on the perimeter? This offensive matchup will be great. Yeah, normally you'd say receiver versus safety, the receiver's going to win. This safety, though, has got the speed to run with this guy, and he's going to make it interesting back there. Whoa, does he turn that loose down the middle? That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. Makes a move. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Here comes the offense on first down. Hand off from the shotgun. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll go right back to him. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he just needed a few inches, and he didn't get it. The defense denies this offense. The give on fourth down. The Longhorns pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. He's going to fire deep into the house. Touchdown, Longhorn! How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon. Back. A little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. 
Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. Going up top on first down. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. They're getting this guy lathered up. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. They'll go to the counter play. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They punted on their first drive of the game, and now they have to convert on third down to avoid doing it again. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Looks it all the way in and now turns his attention upfield. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. From the gun, the ground game. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They'll line up for a second down play. Guys, it is Texas who holds the lead. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Started here in the second, we'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Hand off from the gun. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Went with the running game on first down. Now back at it. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. And the Longhorns are on the move. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you could see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. Off the play fake. Bought a little time, lets it go. Out of the backfield, he's open. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Fires toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Texas! How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in week five? And it's so underrated, the, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing one end because coverage is going to be tight. Your throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in game. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. 
Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point. Nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now. Ship into this lead and try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. The play action fake unloads to the right. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and 10. Got it in the middle. It's Coleman. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. And the Bulldogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. But jet sweep pass. And he's brought down after a nice game. On first down from the 13-yard line. He'll put the tight end in motion. The give to the back. Brought down after a five-yard game down to the seven. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Going for six. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. That dude's really big. How in the world did they lose him? Because down here, he does a lot of blocking, and you play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And what do you do? You peek in the backfield, and you lose the big foot. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy, but he lost him recently. He'll try to tack on one more. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Michigan State is down right now, but you simply can't rule out a cover. Kirk Cousins had a hand in getting this quarterback to East Lansing. So if he thinks the magic is there, who am I to disagree? It's less than a touchdown lead. They're trailing by six to Ohio State. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Looking for a man. It's Manning. Takes the easy one to the back. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. This drive's been productive so far. Already picked up a couple of first downs. Now out close to midfield. Unloads to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. He's looking to pass. Right down the middle. Makes the grab. What a throw. Not a lot of room. He fits it in beautifully, and they've got it at the 30. Looking to move it through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. Well, this offense has come out slinging the bill. They are throwing it. They are trying to be aggressive. We're only in the second quarter, guys. Already, this guy has over 200 yards passing. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. Here's first and goal, and they could go to the locker room with a huge cushion. He wants it all! And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. The defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming into the end zone and he wanted to get the score right there but it falls incomplete they've gotten pushed back but it's still third and goal back to pass it's Manning fires into the end zone and that pass is intercepted
still on his feet. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs! How about that D coming up with a play like that? Dude, you're just thinking, hold him to three, make him kick a field goal, don't let him score points. Heck no, you turn it into offense. What a play. Catches the ball in the end zone. Take a knee, take a knee. No, sir, I'm taking this thing all the way back, 100 yards to the house. What a play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They got the late touchdown. Found good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Fires to the tight end. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. They'll try to get the first through the air. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Longhorns will send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. First one of the day is off. He was called on three times in that victory last week. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Leaves it with the running back. Still running at the 40. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Timeout. Looking to go up top on first down. Going to try to get it in. Oh, he dropped it! Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. Dropping back, it's Manny. Feeling some heat. He hurls one deep down the left side. He can't haul it in. Incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. So far from Austin today. The Longhorns will kick it away to crank up the second half. Looking for block. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. If they're going to get on top in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get the running game going in the second half. I agree. So it can create some more balance, some more unpredictability. I feel like this defense has got a good beat on what they're doing, especially if they don't mix it up a little bit. So I do look for a little second half running the football ball right of this group. And I think the thing, Dave, is they just got to be more physical. I don't think this is a scheme question about trying different run plays. I think it's up to the big fellas up front. They've just got to make the decision that they're going to be tough. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And they finally get their first sack of the day. And one of the things coaches point to every week, how many times are you affecting the quarterback? Last week, they got three sacks. They got to continue to put more and more pressure on the quarterback to play better defense. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He's got great speed. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the pass hits, picked off. Taking it the other way. And on the interception return, he'll finally be stopped at the 33. Well, the defense came into this one knowing they needed to create takeaways to try to gain as much momentum as they could. Really nice interception on that play. Great job with the eyes by the defender there picking that off.
Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game, day. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession of what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To the ground with the back. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. This crowd knows when to bring it. Gets it out quickly. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. Mississippi State has this drive hitting on all cylinders. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. This defensive front just ran free in the backfield. He'll lose three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle. He's got great vision and burst. And he showed all of those attributes right there. PAT unit on the field. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Dropping back, it's Manning. Let's it fly on the move. It's complete. A huge pickup. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is special. Wide out in motion. Caught behind the line. It's Bond. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And now on second down for this offense. Off play action. Going for it all. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. Back to the air one more time. Throws to the wideout. Oh, what a spit! Layout and catch. And the Longhorns will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Motion from the offense. Pulls it in. It's Cook. This quarterback right now is in a groove. He's doing a nice job in pre snap He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quick. And he is finding wide-open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Timing has to be so good. When you're throwing it his own defense over the middle of the field, the ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. A first down for the offense.
They'll leave it with him. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. These two teams are made of as we open the fourth all tied up. Second down coming up. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They need to get a little closer for a field goal try, and they've got to do it in a hurry. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. It's complete! Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the touchdown Bulldogs. And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. Ready to try the point after. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Boston College is on top, but it's not like Matt Ryan or Doug Flutie are playing quarterback today, which is why they can't pull away. They're up by five over Western Kentucky. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Cook. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll give it to the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Now facing a third and long. Looking to pass, it's Manning. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first, it's at the 37. They'll keep it on the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. This drive was clicking along, but now it's second and 14. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. He's got it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Longhorn. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable.
Getting set for the point after. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. Bringing it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty. He's going for a big play downfield. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. And the returner goes down. The clock stops. Two minutes left to play in this one. Comes out throwing on first down. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Man, a lot of coaches talk about starting the drive positive and a first play that can get you going. The QB just kept backing up and going backwards, and that is not the start to the drive they were looking for. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. Looking for a man. It's Manning. Going for it all. And it's incomplete. Going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Power football with the run. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The offense set for a first down play. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. I just love the effort by the defense on this play. We're late in the game. It's in the fourth quarter. Guys are tired. They're not able to get to the QB right away, but they continue pursuing him, and they're able to get to him outside of the pocket. Nice job. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. Makes the catch and steps out of bounds, but short of the first down mark. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Will they try to win it here or be content to play for overtime? Trying to start the drive with a pass. Shoots it to the left. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Looking to throw. It's Manning. Quickly complete. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. We've got a timeout on the field, and we are set up for a terrific finish. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. Leaves it with the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. He kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. On the move, it's Baxter. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. Here comes the field goal unit. 
The holder will kneel at the 33. A 43-yard attempt for the win. It's good, and that's your ball game. Points weren't the issue, guys, but they couldn't string together enough stops to get the victory. Yeah, good news, bad news scenario, I guess. Good news is you're going to score. This offense looks like they can be explosive and they can light up the scoreboard. Bad news, though, David, they've got a lot to clean up on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, and welcome to college football nowadays, right? This is how it works, a ton of points. Defenses learn as you go, but you got to get better. you got to force some turnovers, create those negative plays. Just can't give up so many points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.